Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about loops with tables and more specifically, you know, when you have a loop and you want to remove something from it while, or when you have a table, sorry, and you want to remove something from the table while you're looping through it. Um, so let's just open up a script here, right? And let's just create a table, you know, foods, right? We could have, you know, apple, orange, um, you know, chocolate, let's have biscuit, I don't know, cookie. Okay, so we got we got we got some foods here, right? And we're just gonna loop through the foods, you know, for IV in foods do and then if V does equal chocolate, then table dot remove foods I, right? We're removing that index, the, the index that is chocolate from the table. And if we print out this table, it'll actually work properly like this, right? So if we test it, at the bottom here, you can see, you know, chocolate's not in the table anymore. That's awesome, right? The issue with this is, now if we go back through, right, we see chocolate, and then right after it is biscuit. If we do, like, if V does equal biscuit, then print, you know biscuit right whatever if we test this you'll see biscuits not printed right even though it's in the table it's it's not printed the issue here right the reason it's not printing biscuit is because it's basically being skipped so it's going through the table right it's it's looping through it it's going to the first index the second the third the fourth the fifth right when it gets to the third which is chocolate it removes that third one from it and now biscuit becomes the third index. So this gets removed. Biscuit is now the third index. However, in the loop, the next index that it's going to like go through after chocolate is the fourth one, which is cookie. So it's skipping biscuit essentially because that became what chocolate was and therefore doesn't get caught in the loop, right? I really hope that makes sense. Um but the way to the way to, you know, fix this the way to solve this is instead of doing loops like this if you want to remove something from the table while you're going through it you basically have to go backwards so instead of starting on index one and ending on the last index you you start on the last index and end on the first um so to do that we're actually going to use you know a numeric loop so for i equals number of foods um one minus one do right so we're looping from the number of foods which in this case is four we'll actually add chocolate back real quick so in this case which is five right so four i equals five one negative one so we're counting down from five to one do um local food equals foods i so we're getting the index right local food equals foods i um, if food does equal chocolate, then table dot remove foods I, and then we can print the foods thing again, right? And this should work properly. Oh my gosh, I realized I was testing. Okay, yeah. So now we can go again. This should work properly. <coughs> and here at the bottom, we can see apple, orange, biscuit, cookie, right? Chocolate got removed. And now, with what we had the problem with before, we can check, you know, biscuit, which is right after chocolate. If food does equal biscuit, then print um, checked for biscuit. And if we test, as you can see down here, it did check for biscuit, right? It didn't skip it at all. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's basically it, right? Whenever you want to remove something from a table while you're looping through that table you basically just got to go backwards so that it doesn't skip anything in the table um so yeah that's all uh this was pretty short but hope you learned something hope it helped whatever uh i'll catch y'all next time